Oh my gosh, turn all the way down, Jesus. Uh, it's very dark. The lighting is kind of trash. It's kind of poo What's up, guys? Thank you so much for tuning in. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, this will be a prepare with me for MEPS. Right now, I'm outside of my recruiter office because I need to speak with my crew to get the briefing done before I stay in the hotel tonight. So I'm gonna have to do some quick packing. If I need to pick something up, I'm gonna pick something up. Um, You guys are gonna pack with me and everything. So yeah, I just wanted to introduce the video here. Once I get the information of what I need and what I need to do, yeah, I'll speak to you guys right after. All right, guys, so I just got finished in the briefing and um, and I gotta pick up a couple stuff from um, Walmart and we're gonna see how that goes. I'm very excited. Um, ready to get this process on and popping, Miss Girl. Yeah, I'm gonna get a couple things that I need to get from Walmart and that's gonna be like an earwax removal kit and a polo shirt, a black polo shirt. If I can't find it there, then I'm gonna be on a hunt for a minute. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. All right, so y'all, I just left from Walmart and I just left from Ross. I went to Ross to just, I was like, I might as well just finish um, Christmas shopping while I'm out and I did. Yes, I feel so freaking good about everything that I got everybody. Everybody's gonna be satisfied, hopefully, if there are some sad faces. There'll be no reason. Um, I also couldn't find the earwax stuff that I was gonna get, so we're gonna be taking a 45 minute shower. I also got my ship date, or like the day that I go to BMT, but things might change depending on what happens at MEPS. So yeah, I will keep you guys posted on whatever else I do. Right now, I'm just gonna head home, organize my packing. All right, y'all, so I am back home, as you can tell. I'm about to wash my work pants, and then I'm going to uh, finish setting everything up. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. And I'm also in the middle of uploading my de-stress with me video. You guys have already have seen it by now. Let me just show you guys what I got. Dang, this shirt kind of big. It's kind of big. Um, I had to get it so big because it was kids. This is huge. I put it up to me, and it looked like it could fit, but now it's like... I mean, it's long enough to the point where it won't hug me, so I think I'm gonna be good, so. Hey. Anyway, so. Let's go, puppy. All right, guys, I'm just gonna be studying tonight. Not necessarily studying, but going over all of my medicals. I don't know, whatever. I'm just gonna look over that that I did with my recruiter and make sure I follow up with the same exact um, answers and everything just to make sure I don't get disqualified for that reason. I'm just gonna go over it while I'm at the hotel and while I'm at home, while I have a little bit more time before we can actually go, just to make sure, because I wanna be one-on-one. -on -one. I, I definitely wanna qualify for everything. I'm gonna do that really quickly before I just go ahead and put everything inside of my folder and put everything inside my bag so shirt as well this is the shirt I will be wearing to um, the hotel and this t-shirt that I'm gonna wear for a night Also said you want to make sure you're moisturized on all hot spots because they're gonna if you're ashy they're gonna mistake it for they're gonna say it's eczema so. and you will just get disqualified. So I was like, there ain't no problem for me. I'm always all lotion up. I'm gonna put my lotion and everything in here. Try to lock this so it's not spilling everywhere. I'm gonna leave at exactly three, I think. 
So, well, actually, I might need to leave a little bit earlier because, y'all, I cannot drive. I'm just going to say that. I can't drive. I'm not amazing with GPS, but I've been getting better. The hotel looks kind of nice. Hello, hopefully, it looks like the pictures. It's going to be a 35, 37 minute drive. So, I just folded and ironed my clothes for maps. Now, I just need to leave because I'm going to go pick up my mom so she can take me to the hotel. So, see you guys at the hotel. I'm gonna check it out for bugs and everything. I'm gonna sit these right here because like how dangerous can that be? This is my key, gotta remember that. And this is my food coupon, my ID. And so, let me check for bugs and everything. Actually, let me show you guys the bathroom as well. Um, it's decent. Um, the light don't, okay. The light works. Tub is clean. Got this area over here, you know. Yeah. All right, now I'm gonna Google do with my mom. Guys, now I'm gonna grab something to eat with my mom. All right, my mom and I are back from Chick fil A, but I did want to show you guys the sky is so gorgeous. Tonight's also supposed to be the night or well, the day black people are supposed to get their superpowers. I haven't gotten mine, so I'm 100% blessed. I am very nervous for MIPS tomorrow. Not kid ripping and running. Anyways, so I will see you guys later. I don't know, I wanna try on my outfit for tomorrow though, so I'm gonna try it on for you guys. But I need to eat my chicken first, so hold on. All right, so y'all gotta bear with me now. I ain't got my, um out of my camera so you know these are the pants but my shirt's wrinkly luckily they have an iron like this shirt's too big let me just try it on oh wait that unbuttoned idiot <laughs> my recruiter specifically said to do a button down and sometimes you can come up with babes um this is definitely not cute um We're gonna button this. We're gonna tuck it. I meant. Luckily, I brought my belt to make it look good too. So give me a second here. So this is what we're looking like. It's not horrible. I only brought the cardigan because it's gonna be cold. And I think somebody on YouTube said no jackets with hoodies or something. I don't know, but I'm just gonna wear this. Once I get in here, I'm gonna take it off and then I'm really. Walmart is dead when we're doing this. Oh my god, I'm messed up. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not horrible. It's doable. I'll be fine. <clears throat> like, it's doable. Um, yeah, I think I'll be fine. Just gotta play with it a little bit. It's the arms for me. Like, really? <laughs> um, also, right now, I'm about to hop in the shower. This is so ugly. <laughs> Get some rest because it's six o'clock. I'm gonna try to get some rest. Um, I didn't see <clears throat> whatever star that they were talking about at midnight, so I don't know what's up with that, but definitely didn't get no superpowers. I'm gonna shower, look at my paperwork again, try to memorize what the names of them are because every time they ask for something, I just kind of don't know what it is they're asking for. So let me just have to do that so the end of my night can get started. Okay guys, so I am finally turning in for the night. Um, uh, I think I'll pop back in in the morning. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see, but when I wake up, but oh yeah, for tonight, I wanted to make sure that I was lotioned up because my recruiter said that 
if you're not if your skin isn't all the way moisturized to the max and i'm trying to take these off because i don't know if i can't or can't not have nail polish like i said my recruiter didn't say anything but i'm just gonna take it off for safety and um yeah but if you you're ashy they're gonna mistake it for eczema so i don't want that to be the reason i get disqualified and i don't even have eczema um, so i just ironed my clothes and organized i went through all of my paperwork to know what the names of everything was and what everything was basically and yeah i set my alarm for 3 30 a.m so we're gonna wake up that early just to make sure everything is or organized and i'm ready and then i'm gonna go down and get breakfast and then i'm gonna go to maps i don't know if i'm gonna record i might record after to give you guys the experience I might show me getting breakfast but i highly doubt it i'll see you guys whenever i decide to wake back up so wish me luck good morning That doesn't even make sense, Jordan. Why'd you bring your AirPods, babes? Just because I heard people say that they brought their AirPods while they were on the bus to Maps, and I just, you know. <laughs> so it was really no regulation. I don't even need to bring them, so I'm just gonna leave them in my bag. I'm kind of upset, but it's okay. Now I'm gonna do my hair. cornrows I've been doing lately or the french braids I've been doing lately but I don't know if I can so I'm just gonna put it in a little pony I just want to mention I got up before my alarm clock yeah which was at 3 30 so it's like three something but I got up at like 250 something to pee and I just haven't went to sleep since. So I might be tired today, but I think I'll be all right. I'm just gonna put it in <laughs> Last night I also um, chipped off my nail polish, so all good. some more lotion on the hot spot areas the nutrition one that they got in there i have my own but you know i don't want to keep wasting it and they got this so i might as well just use it but yeah i will see you guys when i'm ready to go downstairs so basically this is what the outfit looks like <laughs> it looks kind of crazy but it's literally fine um it's whatever i swear it looks huge because it is you know but this is the outfit that I'm going to MIPS in. Got my button down and my belt. Don't really need one, I don't think, but it would make sense because the t-shirt is so big. Got my jeans, black jeans, no holes, and got my tennis shoes. I got this cardigan on because it's gonna be cold, but I think the temperature's gonna get up to 60 something outside, so I'll be able to take this off, but yeah. Just want to go get my breakfast. And we have a chocolate kind of orange juice. I thought I wouldn't have anything to drink. I was gonna be very sad because I started to get water, but they don't have apple pay, so. And I got an apple. Jimmy Dean English muffin. Um, I'm just gonna take the sausage out. And then I got Nature Valley Crunchy Bar. And cinnamon yeast, clove apart. I don't know if I'm supposed to eat this. There's a lot of sugar, but they gave it to us specifically, so yeah. I'm just gonna scarf this stuff down really quickly. Alright, so guys, as you can tell, I'm back at home and I am currently doing my hair. I figured I'd just tell you guys 
about how MIPS sort of went while I do my hair. If I qualified or not, your girl qualified and I am extremely excited. I am very happy and thankful to God. Everybody else praying for me. <sighs> I'm just so happy because like, this was one of the biggest stress, the biggest stress factors in my life. If I were to qualify or not, and I qualified through the ASVAB and through MIPS. The only thing I need to do now is, um, I believe get my weight up. And because I was like two points below, just gotta get my weight up and get my shift date. And yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I am now part of the U.S. Air Force and I am very, very excited, very, very happy and proud. Um, you guys are looking at a future airman here, you know what I'm saying? I swore in today as well. I might put it in, I might not. I don't know, we'll see what I do. I hated the outfit I had on. I was so mad because everybody was dressed sort of normal. A lot of, yeah, majority of people were dressed normal and I was the only one kind of like dressed up and I was so upset. Everybody had like sweatshirts, sweaters, and jeans, even jogging pants, babe. <laughs> but it was fun, the girls were really nice. It wasn't a lot of girls actually um, get it going into the military in general because there's obviously when you go to MEPS, you see, you speak and see with Navy people, people going into the Navy, Marines, Army, Army, National Guard, all that type of stuff. So um, I was able to talk to everybody, all the girls, cause it wasn't a lot of us. It was like, it wasn't a lot of us at all. <laughs> but the majority of girls, the girls I was with, they were very nice. And um, yeah, that's, this is the, this now is the beginning of my military career. And I am overly excited. On the inside, I'm about to go to work. I decided to pick up a shift on the same day of mess because I got out pretty early, like one o'clock, so. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah, I got up at five. We got there at 5.30 probably, probably 5.40. And we left around one. So pretty, pretty good day. Everything went smoothly, probably because it wasn't a lot of girls. For the guys, it did take a little bit longer because a lot of people going into the army. And it was not a lot of people going into the Air Force. I was really surprised. There's a lot of people from army and National Guard. Yeah, but that concludes this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. My little MEPS experience. I will be doing a, a sit down video all about maps and everything. And when they tell you what you should prepare, and what you should prepare for. So thank you guys so much for watching.